Hi, so welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to be talking about the best settings for filming or video settings during lockdown. So I'm going to switch on my camera. So I've got a Canon camera here and I've got it in filming mode. So filming mode here, you look for the filming sign. So it's, there it is. I've got it on filming mode. And basically I'm going to just change the settings on here. So I'm going to click on the Q button. And then when I click on the Q button, you've got your, your file size so it's 1080p. So I could just literally hover through this like this. So if I just select the right one, for example, and I could just change the frame rate of this. So when I change it, you can see clearly see that it will change the frame rate of whatever I'm filming. Okay. Uh, and then I've got my, my manual, my MO, which is basically file size. So if I want it large, medium, small, etc., so I can change that as well. And then here I've got my um, shallow depth of field or depth of field, which I can change as well. And then here I've got my um, kind of the type of portrait landscape neutral shot I want. So that gives me monochrome, etc. So when I'm happy with that, I could just set that. And my white balance obviously is dependent on the light. So if it's a sunny day, I might shoot in that. If it's a, um, so you can see that the screen changes. Um, shady day, cloudy day, tungsten light. So if you shoot indoors, um, you know, like if you're shooting indoors and you've got like yellow light, you might want to put it on tungsten light because it will change uh, it to a more of a bluer color and give you a better exposure. You've got this adjust color using custom white balance. So by selecting that, if you put a white piece of paper, take a picture of it, then you can customize it a bit more. Um, that's quite useful. So when you want to film, just press that, you film. If you go to your menu, click on your menu, now here you've got your manual mode. So if I select that, that's going to allow me to change my shutter speed. Then you've got your AF or live mode. So I'm just going to select that. Your shutter button release. Um, so all these are various settings for filming. If I go across, you want it on 1080p, which is your best uh, ratio for this camera. You can film up to 4K with certain cameras. Your shutter time metering timer. You, um, I would suggest you reduce that. Um, your grid. So if you're filming, make sure you put your grid on. So now when I click on my Q button, you can see that there's a grid on there. So you definitely want a grid whilst you're filming. And again, if I go back to my Q button, um, I can sort of change the frame rate, etc. Um, um, to make it smaller large. So if you're shooting, say, for example, a full, small video file, you put it in your phone, you might want to shoot uh, sort of a, a smaller file size, uh, maybe 620, 640. Um, so you use up less uh, space on your camera. However, if you want to shoot at the best quality, you might want to shoot at 1080 or 4K or 2K, depending on what camera you have. Um, so you, you definitely need your grid on. Um, if I sc scroll across, your white balance, you want it in a certain style. Your, your, um, your picture style, you want to definitely have it on auto, depending on what you're shooting, or have it on standard. Portrait, if you do portrait photo, landscape, if you're doing landscapes. Um, and monochrome if you want to do black and white. So if you shoot it in black and white, put it on monochrome. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, you've got like, you know, all these various settings for the camera arrays, images, which are not, we're not really talking about. We're just talking about the best settings for filming. So you want it on definitely 1080, um, um, 1080 to 2K to 4K. You definitely want a grid on. And your shutter speed is basically here, this button, this here. So you definitely want to take it up to about um, 60. So why I say that is because it's double the frame rate. So if you've got lots of moving imagery, it will definitely keep things in focus as opposed to out of focus. So you definitely want to take your uh, shutter speed up to about at least 50 to 60, double the 24 frame per second. So when you when you have a lot of moving imagery, it will definitely focus focusing those different things that you may be trying to capture. So yeah, guys, this is a, um, a video on video settings um, and how to get the best settings during lockdown. Maybe you're making some films at home and you want to do some videography. These are the settings you definitely want. You definitely want a grid on. You definitely want to shoot in 2K or 90, um, um, 1080. And you definitely want to put your frame rate up to about 50 frames per second because that will definitely keep things a little bit better in focus if you've got things moving around within the house. You definitely want to also think about getting a good lens. So I'm shooting with a standard Canon lens. Um, an L lens will be awesome if you can get one of those to get your video photo videography to a really good standard. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. 
Any questions, please do post. And I'm happy to respond to anything you guys got. Thanks a lot. See you later, guys. Bye.